What's up YouTube, it's Zentac bringing you another Photoshop basic tutorial and today we're going to be talking about photo manipulation and adjustments, various things that you can do to improve the quality of your images. Not so much photo manipulation, but rather getting the image to look higher quality than what it is by default. So here I have a Crisis 3 screenshot and what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this to make it look better. So like I said, basically what I'm doing is I'm just providing better quality and I'm going to show you guys how to do quick edits that's going to improve your editing time and just get you better quality for when you upload things to the internet. Now when I edit things, I don't want to spend forever on it. So usually what I try to do is I just try to spend literally almost two minutes just editing a photo to put online and it's really simple. But I'm going to go into a little bit more than that more in-depth uh, discussion about photo correction and after that uh, I'll move on to more advanced things in later videos but for now it's just gonna be basic things about editing photos so here we go uh, first thing I usually do is if you look at this image right now it's just really grayish it's not the greatest quality um, so what I want to do is I want to get all these different colors to stand out. I want more contrast. Um, usually when you take a raw screenshot of a game, you get kind of a plain faded look. It's usually gray or you don't get full resolution, you don't get good qual color quality. The question is what can we do to this image to get that quality that we want? that you would normally have if you were like creating this level from scratch and you had like a thousand dollar Titan <laughs> graphics card or something. So here's here's the first thing I usually do. Now there's several ways you can do it. If you have your adjustment layer panel open, you can just click brightness and contrast here or alternatively you can go to image adjustments brightness contrast. So I usually just click this because it's really fast editing and then I just take the contrast and I just up it just a little bit so usually around 30 I find in most things that it comes out really well so as you can see I already changed the overall quality just by doing that see how great it is here and then when I go and I type in 31 look at that you can see it it's it's a little bit darker it's a lot nicer and then secondly what I usually do is I want to get the color better so there's several ways you can do this you can go to levels levels is like curves but it's like the basic version of it. Now levels is just messing around with like the black and stuff and you want to, I mean if you're doing more in-depth stuff you can get into that but for basic stuff you don't probably want to deal with that and then curves like I said is curves are a little bit different like you have your overall color selection uh, like but if you want to mess with the green for example you can scale it up scale it down things like that but like I said you don't want to mess with that what you want to do is you can either do one or two things you can mess with the hue and saturation and basically what that does is if you increase the saturation you're going to increase like the warmness of the image and there are alternative ways to like cool it down and things like that but what I usually do is I click vibrance and what you want to do here is you want to just scale up the vibrance a little bit because what's going to happen is those areas that are already vibrant like lighter areas are going to get that increase so you can see right here and over here you get a little bit of an increase so if you hit zero you can see how it's gray and then let's scale it up again and we'll see a change so what I usually do is I kinda go about you know midway I don't go all the way up usually it's around, around 12 with most images and then saturation if you increase the saturation too much you kinda get this yellow color like I said but as you can see look at the green down here the greens really nice so but just for now we're gonna kinda probably leave it right about 10 say now the next thing that you want to do is you want to improve certain colors more than others. So you don't want this building to look too yellow. You want it to look a little bit more greenish because it is worn down and you know it's got this natural kind of look to it. So what you can do is you can go to where is it at? I don't know if it's in this. No, it's not. So we'll go to image adjustments. Oh yeah, I gotta click the basic layer, first layer. Selective color so then what you want to do is now this will highlight individual colors so down here you see this red little triangle thing and the red right here if I mess with this watch what happens see how it gets toned out brighter so anything that's got a hint of red in it will get improvements by messing with this so you can kind of edit it if you want to and usually what I do is I up the yellow and the magenta but it doesn't look like that much is changing. But we're going to focus on the yellow, so let's go to the yellow. So it's too much yellow, so let's take down some of the yellow here. So now you can see, see how that changed? It looks a little bit more natural. So you see this like right here? See how it's kind of got that grayish color to it? It's still got a little bit of green. But if you hit zero, see how the yellow comes back? So what we're going to do is take that down to about 15, right around right there, somewhere like that. You can increase the red if you want which is actually looks pretty good because you get a little bit of a red tint to it kind of from the sun where it looks a little worn down if you mess with the cyan it's going to get you more green or more red um, so kind of what I want to do is I want to kind of 
let's do like that right there. Nah, that's a little too much. There we go. So there you go. Now let's mess with the green because we want to get the green improvement in a in a scene like this. And basically, what you just do is you just mess it around, scale it up and down, see what happens, see what the changes, see the changes. So there you go. See how that's way more green. We get that green to pop out. That's what we want in this kind of scene. So just mess with it until you get that really nice looking green color. Okay, that looks good. Hit OK. Now the next thing you can do, it's already pretty well done, uh, but another thing that you can do to kind of make with an adjustment is go to Filter, Sharpen, Smart Sharpen. Now you can do Sharpen, and that will do some stuff, but it, 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 it's too extreme most of the time. So what I do is I do Filter, Sharpen, Smart Sharpen. Now what this does is it basically picks up on areas that are kind of a little bit sharper than most and increases the radius so you can you know scale the radius if you want so basically think of it kind of like from here and then out and what you're doing is you're removing the blur the Gaussian blur so you know what we can do is usually what I like to do is I like to keep the radius kind of lower and then I take the amount and I increase it a little bit because I don't want that much but I want it just enough to make it look real so as you can see here you go this is our image our final image so let's go ahead and save a second one of those there we go let's call it two and then let's go back and we'll open up the original one and you guys can see a side by side comparison where is it here you go there you go there's the original one look at that I'm gonna fit on screen look at that quality versus that lot better yes it is definitely and you see you know if you do all that doesn't take that long. Here, I'll, I'll try to do it real fast and you can just see how I do things. Okay, go away. I don't want you. I just duplicate. Too much. I think there's a little bit more brightness and contrast. Oh. have it set. Okay, so there you go. Didn't take me long at all. And I still got pretty good quality. It's not the greatest, but you can see that it's a lot better just from that just from those few changes. So there you go guys, basic editing. It's not a lot to it. It's pretty simple and once you learn the hang of it, it's only gonna take you about two minutes to do something like that. Um, and produce, you know, take that four eighty P quality photo to 1080p quality photo with just a few basic edits. So that's going to be it for this video guys. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, comment, tell me what, how I'm doing, leave me some suggestions of things that you like to see. Uh, and then if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And make sure you check out my other videos to talk about various different things with programs and Photoshop. And be on the lookout for more Photoshop editing videos and basics and different things that you can do to help improve your general quality of things and just maybe you'll learn something that you didn't know. Alright guys, see you next time.